What an exciting way to end a wonderful episode. Ha Young and Ji Wook giving birth to Wu Jae, at the end of the recently concluded episode of No Gain No Love, was not on my bingo card for the series. I must say that the drama takes the cake for its perfect mix of comedy and romance, and the lead's chemistry is off the charts. Hey Young's imaginations are so wild, adding to the fun of the drama. What's more, Hey Young and Ji Wook will up the ante in the next episode, as they enter a fake honeymoon phase to throw Ji Woo off, which eventually leads to a swoon-worthy moment between our not-so-fake couple. Meanwhile, it's become clear that Ji Wook is Chairman Bok's illegitimate child. He interrogated Hei Young as a father-in-law would. What's with the genetics questions? Let's break it down. The chairman had an affair with his beautiful secretary, which is why his wife forbids Gyu Hyun from having female secretaries or single women in high positions. Ji Wook was born out of the affair, and to clean up his mess, the chairman sent his mother to Canada, where she started a new family, leaving him with his grandmother, hence the reference to always cleaning up his mess. I can't help but speculate if Ji Wook had a connection to Hei Young's father's death. According to Wu Jie, Hei Young's father died in an accident. Hei Young's inability to talk about it, and reaction whenever his death is mentioned, hints that there's a story here. He might have died because of a deed of kindness. This might have added to Hei Young's frustrations with her parents, and fueled her phobia of gaining no loss. Like she always says, her parents gave their all to the care of others, neglecting their own child in the process. Ji Wook's dedication to Hei Young's mother, and conviction that she's a good woman, could be because of this. We are yet to know his promise to Hei Young's mother, which he's very keen to keep. It could be no coincidence that he worked at a convenience store near her house, looking out for her from afar. Meanwhile, the chairman's motive for bringing Ji Wook into the company is unknown. It can't be a sudden fatherly love for his illegitimate son, whom he brags about cleaning up as a mess. And it's too grand a scheme to be about keeping his legitimate son in check. His wife already suspects he's up to no good, knows that he has an illegitimate child, and will surely not be happy about this. From the look on her face when Ji Wook spoke about his parents, it looks like she's become suspicious of him. After running into each other at the orphanage, Ji Wook and Jae Hyun, his half-brother, now have an easy rapport. So typical for a sibling to see the other as Lucifer, while others see him as an angel. Meanwhile, Hei Young suspects that Ji Wook might have feelings for her. Ji Wook buying his fake wedding ring was a giveaway. Her reaction shows that she's warming up to him. One of the good things about the series and the leads is their interaction and communication. There are no games between them. Ji Wook showed his frustration about Hei Young suspecting him of reporting her, but was magically there to catch her in the nick of time. Hei Young asked him up straight if he had a girlfriend, letting herself be vulnerable. Ji Wook's answer had both Hei Young and me inwardly giddy with excitement. However, I wonder how Hei Young would feel to learn that he's the chairman's son. He wanted to tell her before the press conference, but Hei Young was too caught up in the moment. She felt his hesitation, and asked him not to say anything if it was not a big deal, as the moment meant a lot for her career. However, his words about her in the end, should give her an inkling about his feelings for her. Meanwhile, Gyu Hyun and Jayun finally found a common ground. Gyu Hyun's act of kindness and consideration made Jai Yun relent a bit. However, he still doesn't know the height of the distress and trauma his comments caused her. 
Jiayun was abused and traumatized by her father, to the point that she nearly lost her life. This is why she was assigned to Hei Young's parents, and stays glued to Hei Young's side. She must feel like she stole Hei Young's parents' affection, after hearing her words of pain. Gyu Hyun must have commented on her father, and from the policeman's question, it seems like her father committed a terrible offense. Being with her father could have killed her, and this could be why Gyu Hyun asking her to maybe learn from her father, is likened to him asking her to die. What's more, you would think that Gyu Hyun's mother would find a better way to handle the conflict, as she's Jiayun's avid reader. But no, she nearly destroyed her. This shows the extent to which she's willing to go for her son, and makes you wonder what she'll do when Jiayun and Gyu Hyun become lovers. Meanwhile, the evening with the chairman goes downhill when alcohol is imbibed. Hei Young and Wu Jie outdo themselves trying to please Yong A. Ji Wook tries to prove that he's not his father's son. And Gyu Hyun wouldn't be left behind. Together, the drunken parties eventually end up in a hotel, with the aid of Ha Jun and Yilin. What's more, neither Hei Young nor Ji Wook remember what happened the night before, as they wind up in bed with Wu Jie. After running into Wu Jie, Hei Young fears he knows something about their relationship, and makes a new plan. She decides it's time for her and Ji Wook to enter a full time honeymoon phase. Instead of just the weekdays, they decide to spend more time together, including the weekends. Ji Wook visits Hei Young's house and opens a box to Hei Young's chagrin. A box containing pictures of Hei Young's mother's foster kid fell over in episode 5. Someone must have cleared it up, as the box Ji Wook is about to open is different. Engrossed in his role as a husband, Ji Wook tells Hei Young that he likes her on the way to work. He shields her with his body in the elevator, creating a heart-fluttering moment. All these make Hei Young start to take notice of her fake husband. During lunch break, they play the role of a lovey-dovey couple, trying to throw Wu Jie off their track, and words get out in the company about the mismanagement of company employee benefits. Meanwhile, the staff visit the orphanage to do charity and help out. Meanwhile, Jai Yun, who is starting to worry about Gyu Hyun, goes to the orphanage to see him and is in danger of running into Ha Jun, who's helping Gyu Hyun out. Gyu Hyun grabs her hand and makes a run for it. Meanwhile, despite Hei Young's regret for getting married for nothing, and Ji Wook's telling her that he'd agree to a divorce if that's what she wants, they share a kiss. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this drama so far? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.